एवरीवन सो माय दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द फिलिंग ऑफ कैंडिडेट रिज्यूमे फॉर पावर ग्रिड कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डिटेल्ड एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म सो वेन एवर यू गो फॉर इंटरव्यू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गिव यू सम काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म विच यू आर टू फिल एंड दे विल बी हैविंग दिस डॉक्यूमेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ द इंटरव्यू देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन दिस वन इज द डेटा रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ योर पेरेंट्स नेम your qualification so nothing uh, can be changed in that or no innovation is required in that and these kind of informations will not fetch you any interview question so interview questions are not related to data kind of information like what is your date of birth or what is your parents name or something so they will not normally ask you question from uh, those details unless until obviously date of birth comes on a day comes very special day or something so they might ask you otherwise Yeah, they will not ask you questions from uh, those informations. Then there are certain informations which are related to your personality, like what are your interests and hobbies, strengths and weaknesses, why you want to join Power Grid. Those kind of questions are interview questions, HR questions. This document becomes very important document for HR questions. So uh, before you fill this particular document, show me the rough, show the mentors of your PDA rough document, rough filled document, so that we can give our input. and you perform good in the interview once you go there let me tell you now about this document so your name your father's name mother's name date of birth marital status religion all these things are data information so that you have to write so languages if you can write speak read so you have to write the names of the languages and how you can do it like say hindi english telugu uh, you know any particular language if you want to mention you can do that then uh, address and all again that is a uh, you know you have to give your address permanent address and all so there is nothing in this 10th onward so you have done 10th qualification btech mtech phd whatever you have done so you are to provide your in uh, you know academic details in this particular uh, table so there is nothing much in this and in uh, uh, engineering also they are asking you year wise like first year what is your sgpca so all those details your cgpa and percentage that you have to write now from here something which very important starts and let me also tell you some students get it typed so if you type it that goes very good if you get it typed and all that goes very good because uh, handwriting may not be good you may not look like very good in this if you written with your hand so try to type it if the option is already there otherwise if you have to provide you know hard copy then you get it typed and send academic achievement may it can be in your school it can be in your college it can be like when you scored highest in college out of 10 out of 10 i scored in this subject in you know control system i scored 10 out of 10 in strength of metal i scored 10 out of 10 so a grade i got in this particular semester so that can be achievement or you got some award or your project was you know provided the best project award something like that it can be school it can be college it can be masters so academic achievement you have to mention and try to mention the things point wise instead of paragraph try to write point wise point 1 number 1 number 2 number 3 suppose you have three three achievements in the school first achievement in the college second achievement in masters third achievement so that you can mention point 1 point 2 point 3 something like that very clearly written because they will see it and then they further they will ask you the question this becomes a basically document in which uh, through which we can pull the interview in particular direction now second is research and publication so if you have any research or publication you can show it research may if you have done some kind of you know major and ma major project is something different so major project may you have to write the title of the project and then you have to write what you have done in the project that i will discuss but in this case it is publication and research like you have uh, published some paper you have done some kind of research other than major project like if you have done some minor project also if you have done some minor project and that is a uh, you know research related domain you can mention about that also so i did a small project which was related to this during my college in this particular direction or this was the top title also remember whenever you write the projects and all title should be written very clearly dates should be written when did you do that project date should be written very clearly where you did that project it should be written clearly what was the outcome of that project what was the new in that project those things should be written very clearly 
So couple of lines should be written very clearly. Title, when did you do it? What was the outcome? What was the application of that? Where is the application of that project? Those things should be very clearly written because they tend to ask you question from there. So summer internship, so you have to write the duration and what did you do in that? In the summer internship also you have to write what did you learn there? What was the learning during that internship? How, what did you learn and what was uh, you know uh, your contribution to that company? Suppose you did your internship in Indian Railways for two months. So duration you have to write. What did you do there? What was your contribution to Indian Railways? Those things should be written very clearly here. Then this is the employment details. So many students say that I am working in a private organization. I may not get uh, you know no objection certificate. Let me tell you for power grid and for government or public sector, they do not want no objection certificate from private organization. Normally they don't want it. Some students say that we have done job only for four months. Should we mention it or not? You should mention. If you have done job, you please mention it. So you should mention the job and you should write in detail what you have done there, what you have not done there. Those all details should be mentioned here. Don't worry what they will say you have left the job and all what they will say that we will handle. But you should mention about your job, right? Uh, prior experience, uh, I think uh, that is also related to, you know, job experience only if you can write that. Uh, hobbies and extracurricular sports activity, whatever you have done in the college, were you involved in cultural activities, sports activities, what were your hobbies, you can very clearly write hobbies, one, two, three. So how many hobbies should be there? That depends upon you. But I think two to three will be more than sufficient. There is a dedicated video on your PDA, hobbies and interest, strengths and weaknesses. Please go through these two videos. From there you will get an idea how you have to jot down hobbies and all. You are not to create whatever you have you have to write, but how to write it. Extracurricular in the college, whatever you have to do, sports activities, major strengths in your personality. So strengths and weaknesses, I told you before you fill this form, please watch those two videos on your PDA. One is strength and weaknesses, another is hobbies and interest. Watch these two and accordingly fill these two, uh, you know, columns. Major area of improvement means weaknesses. What we call weakness actually should not be called weakness. It is major area of uh, improvement. Like suppose you are workaholic. So what problem do you face because of workaholic? And in those videos, I have very clearly told that your weakness should not be a weakness for organization. It should look like a good thing for organization. Like, sir, I am very uh, spend thrift, maybe. So, usse organization ko fark nahi padta. Ya main workaholic hu, organization ko fark nahi padta. Ya main, uh, you know, uh, I do not call back my friends or something like that. So, usse organization ko fark nahi padta. So, you have to write it. So, aapki sabse badi achievement abhi tak ki. Academic achievement you have already mentioned now. This should be your other achievement, personal level ki achievement, whatever you think. Like I could save one person during COVID or something. I mean, jo aapko lagta hai ki sabse badi achievement. It can be career achievement also. Like getting into call from Power Grid Corporation of India Limited is the biggest achievement. Agar aapko lagta hai. To usme ye cheez ko mention kar do. So other than academic achievement, it, you can mention your profi, uh, professional achievement. Like getting into call from Power Grid is not academic achievement. It can be professional achievement. Similarly, personal achievement. So, you have achievement that you have to There was one student, uh, Sada Veera, in HPCLA got selected. He had written achievement that he, he could convince the father of his girlfriend to you know, marry with her. So, he could convince him that he had to marry with her. That was his biggest achievement in life. Ki. So, uh, that he mentioned there. And in the interview, he asked him a question and he got selected also. So, you can, whatever you think, you should honestly mention that. Now, why do you want to join Power Grid? Ye question ka answer, uh, you watch that video where I am discussing about Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. It is a Maharatana company. Sir, this company is a very reputed company. So, I always want to work in a very reputed company where working in the company gives me a lot of prestige and sense of pride. And Power Grid is the largest electric utility in the world. And you know the work of power grid is related to socio-economic development. It's an energy de uh, economic development of the country. Energy is required. It is dealing with the socio-economic development of uh, people. So it gives a lot of prestige. Moreover, growth opportunities are high. Salary is very good. So those things can be written. But that document you see, and uh, only after that you write this particular thing. But I, as I told you, the moment you fill this form, discuss with me what you have written. So why you are suitable for this post? I have already, already made a video why you should be hired for this particular post, why you think you should be in this particular job. So that video already is there on your PDF, please watch that. It is not related to your technical knowledge or hard skill, it is related to your soft skills like your, you know, as a person, 
disciplined individual honest individual trustworthy individual passionate for this job consistency you will maintain you think of retiring from this job those things are to be mentioned why you should be in this job and if you have done some kind of job experience you have because i already have job experience i have learned these things there so i should be taken into this particular job so you need to write why you think is this particular thing i think the rest is uh, you know the organizations where uh, for interview you have appeared in any organization you can very honestly write wherever you have gone for the interview you can write that references normally uh, relatives and students are not there they can be your teachers they can be your employers so these can be the references you can mention this they may they may not call it but the people should be knowing to you and they should talk positive about you if they call and if they take the references from you so this was the document of power grid so it is an important document and interview may they will ask you question on the basis of this fill it properly show it to us and then only upload it or take it there all the very best and come after this filling this come for hr and we uh, start preparing for this thank you